1950s B-movies. A fleet of hostile flying saucers emerges from outer space carrying hostile alien beings, hell-bent on annihilating humans. But before you dismiss this prospect as a paranoid fantasy or a case of Cold War jitters, consider the facts. We got hundreds of billions of stars in our Milky Way, and in 1900 we thought that was the entire universe. But by the 1920s, people had realized that these little smudges that they could see through their telescopes weren't just things that were relatively nearby. These were other Milky Ways, if you will, other galaxies. And we now know, thanks mostly to work by the Hubble Space Telescope, that the number of galaxies we can see is on the order of maybe 100 billion. And, of course, we probably only see a very tiny fraction of the real universe. Given the vastness of space, intelligent alien life is not just probable, it is surely inevitable. I think it's almost a foregone conclusion that they're out there. In the visible universe, our telescopes have the range to see a hundred billion galaxies. Well, how many stars are there in the visible universe? Count them. A hundred billion times a hundred billion. You have to be supremely arrogant to believe that we are the only ones in town. But even if intelligent life exists on other worlds, could aliens really cross the vastness of space to reach our planet? For those scientists who say that the distances between stars is so great that no flying saucer or UFO will ever visit us, I say, wait a minute. Civilizations that can reach us from outer space are not a hundred years ahead of us. They would be perhaps a hundred thousand to a million years ahead of us. And there may be good reason why such an alien race might decide to invade our world. We scientists realize that our universe is dying. It is expanding out of control. It is blowing out. And billions and trillions of years from now, we will have the last nice day. The Earth will freeze over. The night sky will be totally dark. And the whole universe will be plunged into absolute cold. There is only one escape from the death of the universe itself. And that is to leave the universe. Leave the universe? Crazy as this sounds, many scientists now believe there may be more than one universe, perhaps connected together by black holes. And if the aliens emerge from such a black hole, there's no reason to suppose they're going to be our friends. In the films, whenever we encounter extraterrestrials, they're always more or less at about our level, but the facts are that if we do pick up a signal from another world, it's going to be coming from a society that's far beyond our own.